Well, welcome back into the Mid Norfolk Garden. We're looking this afternoon at fruit trees. And it's been a difficult year for growing fruit in this country. I find quite a variety of different outcomes that we've got with different trees of different ages. This is a typical finding on this tree, which last year was absolutely covered by this time with big Bramley apples. It's this year got a very thin crop and what's on there isn't looking particularly good. A lot of scab on them and very little in the way of fruit in terms of this tree which is quite a well established 25-30 year old tree. Hardly a fruit on it compared to a good year and it's the same for some of these more mature apple trees. This one which we usually show you because of the climbing roses is usually absolutely covered in a heavy crop. I don't think it's a particularly specific variety this one, it's a very old apple tree. It's a Bramley like apple but it's not a Bramley, it doesn't store like a Bramley but it does usually form a big cooking apple size fruit and it produces plenty of them every year. It's not been a biannual at any time over the 10 years we've cared for it. This tree I think is a Bramley seedling produces usually a very reliable crop again this year you having to strain to find the fruit and when you do again a lot of deformed and scab on the actual fruit that it has formed just a small crop plenty of growth on it but something went very wrong this year either with the pollination or the weather that really didn't see any of the flowers and it did flower well but fruit hardly anything on it so again one to watch next year but just look quality wise nothing's going to store off any of these or be of much use at all younger trees seem to have fared better and the ones we're about to show you are in a more sheltered position so let's go and show you those this young tree was planted here about five years ago and it's growing away quite slowly. It's not a particularly fertile spot, this, for soil. And this one set pretty good fruit earlier in the season. But again, awful lot of scab on the apples. And because there's not much other fruit around on the surrounding trees, we're getting a lot of damage on this fruit. Example is there. Blue tits. Other small birds just pecking their way into what little fruit there is on this. We have taken the opportunity of thinning the fruit on this earlier in the season and I think I'm probably going to do it again in uh, middle of August. Take any small deformed or damaged fruits off these just to give the remaining fruit a chance to grow on and thicken up. So this is one of the few apple trees that I'm going to get a picking of and the chance of any storing apples over the autumn and early winter season. Tree just to the side of it, same tree, Bramley seedling, almost identical position. Again, for some unknown reason, a single fruit on this entire tree. Leaves looking quite healthy. There's not a lot of late summer growth on this. It's struggling to have put on around six inches of growth this year, which is unusual. You'd expect by this late time in the summer for there to be masses of healthy new growth on this tree so there's definitely something not right it's not happy and even on this stem you can see some dieback with some leaf curl and browning off so whether there's a disease issue with this tree or whether it's just the season time will tell we don't tend to spray or use any protective fungicides or pesticides on any of our fruit to try and keep them as organic as we possibly can but we'll see what happens with this one further down into the dell here much wetter position and a much healthier looking tree all around this is a small eating apple i think the variety may be called katie got some good healthy looking young fruit on this should mature up if the birds don't take it to a lovely deep almost red colour the skin of these but just look in comparison healthy growth that we've got on these upwards of two two and a half feet of healthy young new growth 
which should give us a good pruning opportunity to get this bushing out later in the season. But again, same conditions really as the other trees. This is no more than about 20 feet from the ones we've shown you. Slightly moisture around the base and a lot more shelter around here. So I'm just wondering if there was a combination of late frosts or some other atmospheric condition that has really made the difference to the the older trees where they are planted in the the uh, the orchard conditions in the main garden. Be interesting to see how this grows on for the rest of the season. It just goes to show you difference between same trees, different years. You can't really rely on anything staying the same in gardening. But I hope this isn't part of a trend. Particularly I'm worried about the insect populations being reduced in early spring around here and that playing its part on the pollination but can't really explain why some trees would have pollinated well and others completely failed this season. So we'll see.